we can watch it on. Hi! We're here. We're going to try to do a better job this time. Hi! Hi! So we know we what we're doing. We have two pieces of equipment now. So now we have something <laughs> filming us live. Oh, there we live. Go. That's not distracting at all. Right? And now we have one that will show us. Let's do this so because right when we look down, we have double chins. Right? <laughs> so let's Keep your chin up. Keep your chin up. All right, so you're in charge. Tiny bit of delay. Oh my gosh, we have nine people. Hi. 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 Yay. Me. So it's Marty and Lori. So you can know. you guys do us a favor and just drop a little like emoji or something down in the thing to make sure that the sound is on and that we're not tipped sideways. We're new at this. We are new at this. Okay, I'm putting you in charge. It's oh. very weird because there's a really long delay there. So welcome to Tasting Tuesday. Um, we're also considering doing this kind of on a regular, meaning once a week or so basis, so I'm considering it. <laughs> I am also. I'm not sure that here. Marnie's actually considering it. I may be twisting her arm a little bit. Um, so anyway, if you think that sounds fun and cool, do what? Uh, well, yeah. Drop, drop us. Drop an emoji, say hello, give us some likes or whatever. I can't see anything happening there. I know, so that's what I'm saying. That's fine. People um, will say hi. I think we're just, just going to get going. Yeah. We're not in a hurry. It's all good. I know you guys have all, literally, all. Uh-oh. Yeah. So we can do that. Hang on, kids. Yeah. We're really new at this. Uh, there we go. Okay, good. Now we can see when people are looking and asking questions. So welcome, welcome. Um, we are going to try some Chardonnay today. Um, and it looks like this. This is our um, California Chardonnay. Uh, the cause partner for this is an organization called Gateway for Cancer Research. And do you want to tell them a little bit about the Gateway for Cancer Research, Marnie? Well, they are, um, they do breast cancer clinical trials for women, and that's what our donations go towards, is putting a woman through a clinical trial to help find the cure for all cancers, breast cancer, and to help get her better, so. Good. So it, Gateway does clinical trials for all kinds of cancer. Um, we're actually presenting this at our meeting tonight, actually. Um, our friend Lynn is presenting it at our meeting tonight. Did you know that? I didn't. So uh, we do have a meeting tonight. So uh, if you're in the area and you'd like to come and learn more, maybe try some wine, we'll be at the Comfort Suites at 630, um, which is uh, in DTC right across from Maggiano's. Maggiano's. Which on my thing said what? Ma mean Guy Llanos. <laughs> mean Guy Llanos. <laughs> so come on down to the Mean Guy Llanos. Um, anyway, so we're talking about this. So I actually had an opportunity to look at it today and kind of um, look at um, a little bit more about the organization. Um, so they provide clinical trials for all sorts of cancers. Our Chardonnay gives directly to breast cancer clinical trials. Um, and the reason that's so important is because clinical trials are not covered by insurance most of the time, which is sad. And if you saw Jimmy Kimmel today, Ooh, about his son and that was a lot about what he was talking about. I'm not trying to get all political or nothing, but I just watched it and it was very powerful. So this is our Chardonnay and you can see that it's a nice light sort of straw Ready? color. Look synchronize. at this. Should we synchronize our glasses? Boom. <laughs> <laughs> so typically you would take three sips of a glass of wine um, just to get sort of the full effect. We are not sommeliers, so you're not going to see us swishing the, or dumping because that's just dumb. That's just a waste of wine. <laughs> so I'm recently back from Napa where I did this for four days straight. I had this little tiny taste. I think you poured kind of heavy for a taste. Well, I mean, I figured. No, it's delicious though. Mm. So I'm really used to doing the swirl, although I have to kind of do it flat on the floor because so I are you still, down with the swirl? I'm hard. It's hard for me to do. I'm Only really Andy Cohen fans will know what that <laughs> oh. means. But, See, yeah. not yet. I know, we gotta get you watching it. So, um, funny thing happened on the way to Tasting Tuesday. Um, <laughs> would you like to share with the nice folks when we okay. have these two things to taste? I have a photo that I wanna show everybody. Hopefully it's easy to get How to. How will you do that? I'm just gonna show the crowd in your... While well, she's doing that. I went to the grocery store and there was a sign out front at the grocery store that said, today's the last day for this grocery store and then we're moving across town. So I was supposed to pick up some stuff and I'm going to wonder if you guys can see, that's the egg I'll, department. I'll tell you in a minute because I right can't there. see it. Um, so that's where the eggs are supposed to be. 
And then there's all the yogurt and all that other junk behind it. But the shelves were empty. Yeah, I felt like really it was Armageddon. It. Yeah. Well, they can kind of see that's an empty case. And then and then what happened on so your I, way here? I got a couple things that I was going to bring for the tasting. I picked and scratched through the grocery store. And then I picked up my son, who had his first job interview today, and he got the job. Yay! Um, and he went ahead and unloaded the groceries and brought them into the house, which has never happened without asking. In, so, in his entire life. Right? And then I got almost here. I was at the light, like two seconds away, and I looked down, and there's no cheese or apples or pears or anything. So, <laughs> so here's what we have. We have some leftover goat cheese goat. with blueberries and my friend Kaz gave this to me for Christmas. Hey Marla! Did you know that Marla is still in Napa? Marla, Dude, your liver needs a stretcher. <laughs> You're not going to make it. Um, this is something that our, our friend Kaz and teammate gave me for Christmas. It's called garlic and something chutney and it's it's what I had. So we can go ahead and try that. So which one do you want to try? It's super garlicky and powerful which I love. Good thing I don't have a date later well, or ever. You know. <laughs> um, so um, while you're doing that, I, I just made a little a couple of notes so I can know what to talk about. The tasting notes on this are really, um, this is one of my favorite wines. I serve it at every tasting. And one of the reasons it's one of my favorites is I convert Chardonnay haters. Mm. That's like my goal at every tasting. So Chardonnay lovers like it, fine. It's very, it's a very mm. different Chardonnay. Is that good? Mm -hmm. Um, Chardonnay is typically very oaky, buttery, the buttery taste comes from the oak, etc. A lot of you probably know this, but, um, mm -hmm. our Chardonnay actually starts in an oak barrel, but it's finished in stainless steel. So you get a, you do get a little bit of that butter right on the front, but then it has a really, um, bright finish, if you will, meaning it's fruity and kind of crisp at the end. Um, and so I always, before I pour it, I always ask everybody, raise your hand if you hate Chardonnay. And lots of hands go up and I'm like, oh, I don't want to try it. And you say, I don't want to try it. Just take a sip. You know, you never know. Anyway, I convert a lot of Chardonnay haters with this wine. Cheers. So, cheers. Tasting, oh, tasting notes are, um, well, let's smell it first. Okay. I have the garlic chutney in my mouth. <sighs> it smells amazing. It makes it really me does. I really like the, the way that Chardonnays always smell. Mm -hmm. I just have not always been a lover of Chardonnay. I, like do mm -hmm. I do love ours. I do love ours. And it's very drinkable. It's very um, light and crisp, like we talked about. But it doesn't have the big, giant, buttery, um, oaky. Which Some I people know. find that to be. I love. I, I do. love a big old chunk of butter. <laughs> I Should do. we just put some butter well, in the Well, but I like this. I, don't, I see this as very different. Um, the tasting notes are all tropical. Oh. With the garlic. Really? Now it has a different smoothness to it. It is very smooth and creamy. Um, I might go in for the garlic here in a minute. Um, tropical tasting notes. So um, toasted coconut, which is totally what I get when I smell it. We're acting like we totally know what we're doing, but the truth is. <laughs> I'm just going by what I'm smelling, which recently I was reminded I went to Napa, which was really, really cool. I'd How'd you get been. to Napa? Uh, I Tell earned a spot. People. As a founding leader in this company, one of the first 50 people to hit director, Lori did also, she went last year to Napa on the same type of trip, and I went this year, and I had never been, so this was amazing. You know, the fields and the farms and the bees and the birds, not the birds and the bees, but the bees uh, and the birds. That happens too, though. It actually happens a little more in Napa. Because <laughs> the oh, wine. Right? And That's the a Napa baby. Atmosphere. I named my baby Napa. I named my baby Vineyard. I named my new baby Rutherford. <laughs> uh, <laughs> anyway, we digress. So, so I learned in Napa about I the um, nose on a wine. I knew that already, but I wasn't using that term, and I love, I love that the nose yeah. on this. So tropical aromas. What else you got? Toasted coconut, um, pineapple, banana. Um, so those are the tasting notes on it. So very cool. And I don't know. Uh, we won't do this all the time, but I don't know if you know about the dot labels on our bottles. Um, our wines have won awards, but our labels have as well. What's really cool, I don't remember if I said this last time or not. Oh, I probably didn't because we were drinking reserves. Um, the dot label relates directly to the cause. So the sad statistic is that one in eight women will be diagnosed with breast cancer in her lifetime. I'm just showing the dot label in Thank case you, you can't see it. 
you'll see that there's eight dots on there and one of them is turned pink. So one in eight women are, sorry I interrupted. You got it. <laughs> Take it. One in eight women in the U.S. or worldwide U.S.? In the U.S. U.S. are diagnosed with breast cancer per and, year. And what's really, well, the, the statistic and not to. Oh, in their lifetime. In their lifetime. So one in eight women will be diagnosed with breast cancer in their lifetime. Uh, that's why these <laughs> clinical trials are so important because they're saving people's lives. And you, I know you know somebody that has had breast cancer, has passed from breast cancer, is a survivor. I know it. Every party I do, every single time without fail, when I talk about that statistic, there's one person in the room almost every single time. So it's, it's powerful stuff. I wanted to show you, so I texted Marnie earlier and I said, Hey, because I've been working all morning, I've been getting ready for this meeting, and it was month end yesterday, and now it's the beginning of the month, and blah, 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 I'm going crazy. And I'm like, oh, dude, I'm still in my pajamas. You might have seen that photograph of my <laughs> Sunday work outfit. I kind of looked like that, except I had like a dress on and my Uggs. And so I said, could you go to the grocery store, and do you have any of these things? I said, or do you have any of these things? And what was it? It was like, it was like pineapple pork chop encrusted pork chop or something <laughs> She's like, I'm like oh yeah no no i've got that right in my pantry so anyway it was actually kind of funny hi amy i love that you get to join me hi abby i better see you at the meeting later andy casson says the banana note slaps me in the face and i love it <laughs> wow oh, my that's a different andy. party yeah, andy. that's a different party sweetie so um anyway so as i said we are considering doing this per week per we week think. once per week um, and what we think would be really cool, and what's also, by the way, in a minute we can do it out on the on the back with the Ooh, beautiful yeah, yeah. everything, and not here squeezed together like this. Remember when it snowed mind. a foot and a half two days ago? I do. The backyard is totally free of snow, mm -hmm. but that doesn't mean it's not going to snow again. So soon, okay, it'll Michael the... Probstorfer. <laughs> soon it will be in the backyard. Honey, but... can we put up the backyard? No, it's not done snowing yet. Anyway. Don't plant. If you live in Castle Rock, don't plant your flowers till Memorial Day because they will freeze. Right. Mother's Day sad. is not okay. Nope, not. So anyway, what you I know what would be cool for Mother's Day? What's that? Some glitter. Oh yeah. How glitter. about a glitter bottle for don't your mom? Don't be a glitter. Get some glitter. So what I wanted to show you is this is our host. Um, uh, what do we call that? Host uh, thing. Host planner. Host, host planner. planner. What's really cool about it? What I love about it is that right in the middle, we pick, we typically serve the same, you're not gonna be able to read it, I'm just giving you a visual. Um, we typically serve about the same lineup at a tasting, almost every time. Somebody like Helen, who's already done a tasting, she's getting ready to do what we call a reserve tasting, where she'll do reserves. Bet you didn't know that, huh, Helen? <laughs> um, she did, no, I'm just kidding. Um, but typically we serve about the same six wines. What's really cool in our host planner is it gives you pairing ideas for those wines. Mm -hmm. um, and it's everything from like popcorn to cheese that's as much as your car payment. Like, so <laughs> you can totally run the gamut of what it is that you want to. It gives it to you in tiers. So for yeah. instance, for Chardonnay, what does it say? Chardonnay says for $1 sign, it says uh, pears. I don't want to say that because I'm not Those French. are at my house. My in, son might be eating in the them. kitchen. Um, two dollar signs says Asiago cheese, also in the bag. Um, three dollar signs says Manjango, which we actually ate yesterday in our planning session. Sorry. And then the four dollar signs is Stilton with mango and ginger cheese, which it's not as much as a car payment, but um, there is some cheese on here that is. So anyway, that's just kind of a cool deal. If you decide to host a tasting, you get that planner. And it has all kinds of great directions. It talks about your host benefits, blah, blah, blah. We're not really here to pitch. I mean, that's a lie. Of course we're here to pitch, but not really. So what I started to say, what I really wanted to say, love you too, Marla. Oh, you're going to Rutherford for lunch, you lucky duck, um, is that we have this great idea to bring people in, right? So maybe another business, maybe a charity partner, maybe somebody who wrote a book, um, but small businesses, um, other direct sellers maybe. So we think that's gonna be really cool. Lisa, 
If you had been on here in time, what you are would those know snacks? that it's chutney with garlic. Yeah, and uh, uh, remember like, when you took the plate the other day and all almonds came off? Um, and goat cheese. The other snacks, the Lisa Hyam, my son, like a renaissance kid, went ahead and unloaded the groceries. Like a renaissance kid. And yeah. then now they're not here. I have three renaissance kids. Who do? That's Jackie. not a thing, actually. <laughs> um, anyway, so let's go ahead and see if anybody has... Hi, Nye! Let's see if anybody... Let's scroll back through if anybody has questions. Oh my goodness, you guys are so awesome! Uh, so while she's scrolling, I'm going to tell you a little story that we learned. Hi, Leslie, I just saw you. Something that we learned, um, can I go or do you want to... Yeah, I was just going to say to Barbara Baker, Andy Cohen is my boyfriend. Good. Um, I was going to talk about how Tony Coltrane, who is one of our winemakers, he is, um, he is of Opus One fame. He's and fine. he is lovely he's a Born. farmer man he talked about how he watches in the fall when it's getting to be about harvest time that the bees come along and they can smell the grapes and they can smell the sweetness and the yumminess and they bite the grapes bite 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 and then he waits however long I don't know how long that is but then he waits for the birds to start smelling that sweetness that the bees have kind of let out because the birds can't smell the grape juice inside the grape. They can only smell it when it's released. And then the birds start eating them, and that's when he knows it's time for harvest. Isn't that cool? Isn't that cool? Farmer. Farmer crap. Nerd. Nerd alert. Super nerd alert. And, you know, some of you, like a couple of you, maybe two, when I was in Napa last year, I was taking all these um, live videos, and I kept saying, oh, it's so beautiful. And everybody was like, you were drunk. And I wasn't at that <laughs> point. But um, I grew up in California, and I grew up in those orchards and the, you know, artichokes and um, lettuce and cabbage and apricot trees and apple trees. And that's like, oh, when I see that stuff, man, I cannot hang. And when, then when you get cute, cute Tony Culture up there, and he's swirling his wine, Over. and he's hypnotizing you <laughs> and talking about all of the beauty, it's amazing. Such a cool experience and really super grateful. Um, for the opportunity with One Hope, honestly, truly, to go. Napa is my jam, so I was speak. very grateful to be there. Yeah. For sure. We are, what is it? We are grateful for everything. Entitled, entitled to Entitled to nothing. We are entitled to nothing and grateful for everything. That's one of the key phrases of our company. You would think I would know it a little better, and I do. <laughs> Your son wants to come in. Oh. <laughs> come on in, son. Uh, I put like stickers on the door that because this is like when everybody comes home from school and work, etc. Um, anyway, so I put a big sticker on the door. We're live. I made the other kids take the dog out of the house and everything. So um, maybe he's just standing in the garage. Christy, like, my cousin Christy said, "Grateful for everything." Wait, isn't that so cute? Hi, Nick. Hope you had hi. a good day. Hi, sweetie. We are live. <laughs> Did you want to come over and say hi? Oh no, I'm fine. Oh no, he's fine. Thank you. He's getting a haircut today. I'm pretty excited about that. Um, anyway, I think we're going to maybe wrap it up. Debbie Haney. What? Deborah Sue. Are you joking right now? Fine. Nice to see you, Debbie Sue. Hi, Kendra. Love you. Um, anyway, I hope this was fun. I can't tell how long we've been on. Can you? Oh, Rebecca Bust. Hi, Becky. What? Oh, <laughs> oh my gosh. Hi, Becky. Becky's my... A lot of touching my heart going on today. <laughs> She's my home slice. Anyway, um, I love you guys. It's so fun. Oh, shush, you're at work. Oh, okay. Well, maybe turn the volume off. Okay, <laughs> Haney. Um, anyway, we hope you guys are really having fun and having a beautiful day. It's Tuesday, so we're almost done. Oh, well, you weren't quite finished with that yet. I just needed to see if I needed another taste. <laughs> right, um, so we're going to head off to the meeting here a little bit. We've got 30 people apiece. <gasps> Wow, 35. When we started doing these meetings last year, there were about four. And we would just, I just kept doing them. Just kept showing up. And tonight we'll have about 30 people. So, um, but there's room for many more. How does that song go? There's a lot, plenty of room. So if you're at all interested in nearby, again, please come by. We are pouring I can sing. wine. Make new friends and keep the old. It's me, I've gone off the rails. I think jumped the shark right here. Up. 
So this is actually what we're premiering. I already said that. This is what we're profiling tonight at the tasting. And we'll also be serving our sparkling fruit. So, all right. Love you so much. Love you, Becky. Love you, Kendra. Sabrina. Hi. Hi Miss you, Sarah. Sabrina. Miss you very much. Yay. Um, yay. Kendra's coming to Colorado soon. Well, come on all down. Right. So is Jess. Did you know? Yes. Yeah. So here's the part where I have to get up and turn it off. And so again, if she trips, I want to see a lot of hearts flying across the thing. And okay? no. Or actually just send them. We need some love. Give yeah, us some love. Us send some love. us some hearts. Shower us. Thumbs Shower up. Us. Hearts. Hearts. Come on. Come on. No laughing come at on, my God. God. Come on. Give it. Come on. I see one heart. Come on. I want more. <laughs> okay. I forgot Thanks. how to turn it off again.